So let's get real about the economy. We see in America where our economy works not just for the few, the wealthy and the well-connected, but works for all of us. How will we do that? Well, we're going to start by creating good jobs again and by keeping the jobs we have here and preventing them from being exported like they were some disposable commodity. We can do this. We have to change our trade policy. We have to change our tax policy. We have to change our vision and understanding about what it will take to create the jobs of the future. But that's what I've been doing for years. You know, upstate New York has a lot in common with Wisconsin. We've lost our manufacturing base. But I didn't say, well, that's the end. We can't do it. Because you see, I don't believe we can have a strong economy and a strong country without a strong manufacturing base. So I'm going to work to make sure we get it back. Let's get real about our energy policy. Let's see an America that stands up to the oil companies and the oil producing countries and says, you don't need our tax dollars any longer to make outrageous profits. Let's begin to take the tax subsidies away from the oil companies. Let's impose a windfall profits tax on these outrageous profits and put it to work on clean, renewable energy. And on January 20th, 2009, the next president of the United States will raise his or her hand and take the oath of office and then will immediately inherit the problems that will be left to us to solve by President Bush. Now, we're here tonight to make sure that our next president is a Democrat, because after seven long years of George W. Bush, seven years of incompetence, corruption, cronyism, seven years of this government of the few, by the few, and for the few, we have to bring change to America and put our country back on the right track.